Welcome to QueenOn7.com. Please like, share and subscribe our videos. Uh, today we're going to look at the development of the periodic table. The development of the periodic table is actually happened over 200 years of history. Uh, for example, if you look at there are different scientists who has actually done the work in their own time. Uh, we're going to only look at uh, three of them and then we're going to look at the modern periodic table. You need to understand that the elements are discovered slowly, slowly. So not all of them uh, elements in the product table where you can see the list of different elements are uh, they were available straight away. They were not available straight away. So you may have like only 30 elements discovered there. Then you probably have 50 or 60 there. And then you probably have 80 uh, discovered over there. And then the new product table has got even more than that. <clears throat> So uh, whatever uh, the uh, number of elements were available at, at each time, the scientists had tried uh, to actually uh, show a table or some sort of arrangement uh, uh, where they can show that uh, how they can be arranged in terms of their properties, in terms of atomic mass or weight. So though they, every scientist used had different sort of method to arrange them. So we're gonna look all uh, three of them quickly and we're gonna write down what is happened um, and what are the uh, uh, significance of each product table. When you look at De Vinier, he actually proposed a triad. Uh, so we call it as actually a uh, law of triads. What he did is he actually made a group, a group of uh, three elements in each group. So that's what he did and what he uh, tried to uh, um, explain that the middle uh, of the uh, each of the element will have an average mass of uh, these two but at that time not uh, uh, all of them were known so it was pretty difficult for the uh, uh, de veneer uh, to understand or to explain all of them but whatever he has done it was the very good step towards arranging the elements uh, in the product table uh, what happened at, at that time people have started actually uh, uh, looking at the uh, atomic mass the relative atomic mass so the relative atomic mass is actually started uh, dis uh, discovering through the uh, different methods. Um, so uh, he used that to uh, create this uh, triad. Now after him, uh, he started I think around 18, if I'm not wrong, he was 18, 1814 or something, or 1817 I believe. Um, uh, and after, quite, quite, uh, quite after, it was in 1864 or, yeah, it was in 1864. Um, a new land came up. Uh, this one, is, he was a German scientist, whereas new land, he's actually an English scientist. He came up with an idea, and obviously more uh, 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 elements were discovered with the atomic mass. He said, uh, we, when you look at the product table, uh, this is what, what, very important information. When you look at the product table, you always look for two numbers. Well, this, the big number is the uh, relative atomic mass, and the small is actually a relative uh, atomic number. Now, but we are talking about atomic mass uh, until the modern product table. So wh whoever actually try to arrange the elements, they use the big number relative atomic mass. So Newland, he actually proposed a law of octaves. Octa, octa means eight. So he wrote down uh, this uh, 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 law. If you see that, you have only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, elements in one uh, of the period. Uh, but what he was trying to say, he said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He said sodium has got the same properties as lithium, and he has actually said that he arranged the elements in the increasing order of relative atomic mass because he has done in the, in the increasing order of ato uh, relative atomic mass he also concluded that the every eighth eighth element have 
has the has the same properties as number one means if you count it from here uh, one two three four five six seven eight lithium and sodium currently in the same uh, group and uh, they both have the and it is true they had uh, the same property the only uh, thing which was actually creating problem in the newlands uh, periodic table that he has put uh, two of the uh, 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 elements together means he has put iron right under oxygen and sulfur so that was a problem with this periodic table the iron is actually is some matter oxygen and sulfur they both are non matter they are not metals so a metal cannot be in the same group of uh, non metal so that was a problem so uh, whatever he has done is it is done an enormous job but what happened is mendeleev came up Mendeley's product table uh, was proposed after right after five years so you can see right after five years more elements were discovered Mendeleev came up and he used the same part so he arranged the elements so I'm not gonna write that again but he arranged the elements in the order of increasing atomic uh, mass when well, when he arranged all of them what he did is after this for example this is 40 and this is 42 he left a gap for uh, some element which has an atomic mass of 41 he left the gap purposely so the unknown element can be fitted in so the first thing he has done arrange the elements in the order of increasing atomic mass just like newland then he left some gaps he left some gaps for undiscovered elements now there's another problem what he did is iodine has atomic mass of 127 and tellurium has a uh, mass of 128 and obviously iodine will come first according to his own rule uh, and tellurium will come after but what he did is he he broke his own rule he put tellurium first and then he put iodine right under fluorine uh, and chlorine bromine and iodine he put right under that so he has broken his own rule according to him this should come first the reason he did it because he knew iodine has same properties as chlorine fluorine and bromine and it will fit with the uh, uh, those uh, elements so because it matched with the properties that's why he actually swapped the position so he has uh, swapped uh, some elements uh, to put them in a correct group though he was right to do that in the modern product table yes it is correct but it was oh, this problem was overcome with a different method what is also significant about his uh, a problem with his, his product table isotopes isotopes have no place in in the product table isotope means for example you have carbon 6 carbon 6 carbon 6 12 13 and 14 you whenever you get a sample of carbon you always will find major part of carbon 12 16 and small portion of 13 and 14 means they both are actually carbon they have the same atomic number uh, but they have different mass number so the definition of isotope is uh, elements with the same atomic number but different mass number they are called isotopes of each other okay of that or the of that element their physical properties probably slightly different but their chemical properties are always same because they have the same number of electrons in the outer shell okay you can't say they have the same number of electrons that's why they're same always say uh, they have the same number of outer electrons now if you if you follow the his rule that you you arrange the uh, uh, elements in the order of increasing atomic mass 
then uh, these three should come in the product table as well. <coughs> Whereas we have an element uh, which is nitrogen uh, with an atomic mass of 14. Uh, if uh, oh, oh, most of the elements ha they have got their, 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 their siblings, you can say, um, with a different atomic mass, so you cannot put them into the uh, into the priority table. So the modern priority table, uh, you know, they overcome this problem. So what happened is <coughs> modern priority table came up with this, and they said we will arrange the uh, uh, the priority table in terms of increasing atomic number, the small number. Like I said, sodium has a uh, two number. So they said. Uh, Whoever's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we will arrange that accordingly. Uh, so they arranged the atomic number, arranged the elements in order. <coughs> atomic number and that has solved the problem of uh, indium and uh, tellurium uh, sorry iodine and tellurium it automatically swapped and that is the problem now a mentalist periodic table was famous because he left some gaps there <coughs> what he did for this Mendeleev he has predicted the atomic mass this 41 wasn't there he predicted it so he predicted it and he also predicted the properties so it's not like he has some sort of he knew that part, that element was there he just predicted it he assumed based on the position of that element in the priority table uh, that which group it is coming in so he predicted the properties of that element that if anybody is going to discover that element in future is going to have that sort of uh, uh, properties so that's one of the remarkable thing he has done. He become famous, not these two become famous, but Mendeleev Periodic Table. He Mendeleev is also called the father of Periodic Table. He became famous uh, because of uh, the undiscovered elements. They, when they discovered it, they actually fitted right uh, where he actually identified that they have to be. So that's why Mendeleev Periodic Table actually was a major step towards the. Uh, <coughs> uh, priority table. Now, there's another guy called Henry. Uh, he actually got killed in 1913 in the World War One. If we, if he was there, he could. Uh, he was also working in the priority table. Could have done enormous job, uh, and we could have uh, a better uh, priority table uh, uh, for for today. But uh, in terms of overall, if you look at it, uh, triades, octaves. Then Mendeleev's periodic table, they all were arranged in uh, in some sort of a, 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 a atomic mass, increasing atomic mass or in the groups. They have the resemblance because they both have actually arranged elements in the order of atomic mass. That's why they both uh, resemble each other. <coughs> uh, what Mendeleev did, he left some gaps rather not uh, leaving them away. Uh, he put uh, put those gaps and predicted the property in atomic mass. Um, but modern periodic table is pretty straightforward. Arrange the elements in the order of atomic number. That how many total electrons they have. Total electrons, based on the number of total electrons of protons, the the uh, new periodic table is being arranged. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much.